guys, it's Diamonds, and today we are back with the Vlogmas. I'm starting really late, but it's Friday, so hopefully I end up doing something. I'm actually just now editing the other Vlogmas, so I know it's going to be up late, but yeah. Now Jenna wants to start making noise. She wasn't making no noise. I am laying down my wig, so that's why it looks all kinds of stupid right now, but that's okay. So let me tell you guys, I actually had did my makeup. I actually had like did my makeup. I did it really light. Like this is real natural light makeup for me. Um, I don't even have on foundation. I just have on concealer. And um, to go because I got a random text message saying that somebody um, suggested me for a job. And if I want to make extra money this winter, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm, like, I quit my last job, but I never necessarily said I would never, like, work a regular job again. I think I would still work a regular job. Um, I didn't even quit my last job simply just to pursue YouTube. Like, I quit my last job for other reasons. Um, but I always said if I want to get a job or something... It either would have to be something I liked that I like wanted to do or it would have to be something that just fell into my hands like literally so um they hit me up and they're like yeah uh, they suggested you so we want to give you like basically a priority interview blah 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 can you come in today blah 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 so no i couldn't come in yesterday i don't like when people hit me with the glass and stuff like that no um but they was like oh well can you come in today blah 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 basically to like interview me like so i'm like asking questions trying to figure out what exactly the position is for because they said it was customer service and sales but they didn't say like the name of the company and blah 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 so i'm asking i literally asked the name of the company and they was acting like they didn't want to tell me like talking about oh yeah we just want you to come in and speak with the manager they'll give you all the details but don't even want to tell me the name of the place or anything so i'm like okay i'm going along i'm like yeah cool put me for an interview yeah i couldn't do yesterday if you put me for one, for one today that's cool um because i said it was like a good pay and everything like she told me the pay and everything and she said since i was recommended i was gonna get priority blah 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 all that so she i'm like is it seasonal is it is it part time is it blah 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 like you're not really saying nothing She's like, yeah, you could just come in, talk to the manager. So today, she asked me for my info, like, um, basically, like, what kind of, uh, what was my email address so she could send the confirmation and stuff. So I sent her my email and I ended up getting a text, not even an email, so I don't even know what she needed my email for, but I ended up getting an email about what the company is. And basically, if you live in Vegas, you might know what this is. If you work for this company, no offense to you, that's totally cool. That's not, it's just not what I'm into, you dig? It's basically like a company that sells like knife and like silverware type shit, I guess. So of course, I'm not gonna do that. like. They were like, oh yeah, it's not telemarketing, it's not cold calling, it's not um, nothing door to door, you have a, you have a base, you have a base pay. Um, so, I've heard of that before and I definitely am not going. It was supposed to be for six, no, they should have told me that from the beginning and I wouldn't have even wasted their time the way that they wasted mine. Yeah, because they're trying to be all secretive and shit. Y'all could have just told me and I would have been like, no, thank you. <laughs> Instead of trying to like. I hate when people like try to 
trick you into some shit like why are you trying to trick me into coming into a job interview if you know nine times out of six, or they just like oh i get they probably feel like oh people are just gonna say no without even hearing about it like yeah to selling kitchenware cutlery like what the hell ain't nobody gonna be doing all that like i'm sorry and i didn't even know what i expected but like i said I got a confirmation text that had like all the info on it. So I just Googled it and looked it up. Like, of course, I'm going to end up looking it up anyway. Y'all could have just told me the info. So, yeah, another thing. I had got my little Sephora Beauty Insider shit. And, of course, I'm over here thinking that it ends on a different day than it actually ends. So I didn't even get to use mine. So annoying. I always try to use my discounts to Sephora you don't get them that often i need to get a new closure for this wig because it just ran this course so yeah um i don't know if i said it but i didn't get to use my sephora thing because i'm thinking that it was the day after and of course, they wasn't restocking the Beauty Beauty until the day after. But yeah, my camera's gonna die. I'll be back. Other vlog is exporting still so it has like 40 minutes but this tree looks so cute so far doesn't it like I just got a little I just got a little cheap tree when I got my ornaments and stuff and got some little ornaments for it so I have it in the back for Christmas I think it's so cute hey guys I'm running home to just grab something for my mom really quick um but yeah um i missed a couple days of vlogging so sorry about that um but i'm gonna be at my mom's house um, i'm gonna show you guys and we're gonna try some of her special brownies that are for adults 21 and over um so if you're ever in vegas she's probably gonna start incorporating that we've been doing like these samples basically and we've been doing them for the last two days so it's been pretty good so yeah we're gonna start adding that on to our menu um also i really want to touch on one thing really fast like with it being the holiday season and stuff um uh, or just really in general like i know people are always struggling at all times of the year i am really not somebody that like loans out money a lot i'm not somebody that lends people money or anything um so usually if somebody's like owes me money or paying me something or something, it's like not even maybe that I loan them it or something, but maybe I paid for something and then they're paying me back or they just did something to where now they have to pay me some money. Like I hate when I have to constantly hound somebody about my fucking money. Nobody wants to do that. Don't be that person because you know that you owe somebody money so just pay them back 
or if you can't pay back at least communicate put forth the effort to communicate and don't make me feel like you're just trying to run off with my money and not say shit about it that shit is very rude as you being the person that is owing the money you should really feel some type of way but everybody doesn't have home training so I should not have to constantly hit you up, hit you up, hit you up to even get an update about my money or about my shit. On top of that, if you tell me that you are going to pay me back on X day, I'm expecting to get paid back on X day. Why? Because that's what you said. So it's really, it's always confusing to me when people like get defensive or get upset or whatever when you hit them up about the money that they owe you. Not only that, but you hit them up about the money they owe you on the day or around the day they said they was going to pay you back. So what is your problem? I don't understand. Let's add on top of this. Don't, nobody knows what the fuck I got going on in my pockets. All people see is what the fuck they see. That's it. Nobody sees my bank account. Nobody has access to my fucking bank account. So nobody don't know what I got or what I don't got. What what somebody is not going to do is make me feel bad for collecting the money that they owe me. If you owe me money, I'm going to collect it back. I don't give out money that I can't lend. True. This is true. Nobody should. If you can't lend the money out, don't fucking lend it out. If you need it, don't lend it. Duh. That's self-explanatory. So am I hurting for a little whatever X amount that I lend somebody? No. Because if I was hurting for it. I wouldn't be lending it, but do not borrow money that you don't have any intention on paying back. Point blank. That's like pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to feel no type of way about hitting you up, questioning you about the money you owe me or whatever you have that's mine, that is in your possession. I'm not going to feel bad about that. Nobody could not feel bad about nobody can make me feel bad whether i have so much money and i don't need it or whatever the case may be i really don't give a fuck you're gonna pay me back you say you're gonna pay me back you say you're gonna pay me back by this day so what i'm expecting some type of communication or something for you to tell me either a i'm still gonna pay you back the money or b i'm not gonna pay you back i'm gonna have to change that to this day you have to say something it's your responsibility you is you and not like i said not borrowing money or anything but just for somebody to be paying you back for something do it in a timely manner like don't be that person it's really annoying if you owe me money if you borrowed money from me if you know you're supposed to be giving me money on a day or at some point then just pay the shit back like it's not like i'm gonna forget about it because when the time comes and i need to pay the money or when the time comes and i need that money then i'm gonna be like okay look what's the fucking deal like so yeah don't be that person um if you owe somebody money don't expect them to like feel bad for you blah blah because i mean they lent you money in the first place so how much or they've been letting you owe them the money you know they didn't get it like right up front so how much sympathy do you want like how much sympathy do you need don't be that person cool whatever people can say i'm i sound insensitive i sound whatever like these are just facts facts over feelings 2018 okay 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 what is this what is it? Brown beef? No. I said, what is it? What's in here? Ground beef? Ground turkey and ground beef. What'd you say? Bread. Oh, and bread. Hey, Team Signature Kitchens or Die. Albertson's only. What's this stuff? This is chopped onion, minced garlic, some basil and cilantro, and Dijon mustard. What is going on in the meat? Oh. in the meat. Famous ninja. <laughs> Oh.
Oh, these are the special brownies. Special brownie. And this is the blondie. Very good. The spaghetti and meatball. There's Prince.